Hello everyone, welcome back to SCP-087-B. As you can see, we are on floor 100, and hopefully, we'll be finishing this up soon. So let's see how this goes. Nope. Alright. So as you remember, in the last episode, we got super close to finishing this game. And then we died. But not today. Today... We shall succeed where we have failed. We shall triumph in the face of adversity. And the developer has reached out to me on part two of this series to let me know that the window that I assumed was lethal is not lethal. We should be checking the window every time to make sure he's not in. And that's what got us the last time through, was he was in the window, we didn't look at him, and so he died. Or, he died, we died, because the wall closes and he comes and eats your ass. And I died. So, with that being said, we're going to peek in the windows. We are going to become that peeking Tom. What is up with my headset? Anyway. Off to some scares already. We are off to a fantastic start. But we shall not falter in the face of adversity. We shall stand strong. We shall overcome our fears. As we descend deeper and deeper. And maybe even deeper into the belly of the beast. The endless descent into the SCP. If I die again, I'm gonna punch the camera, and I'm gonna punch my monitor, I'm gonna punch myself, and we're just gonna leave. And we're gonna go to Starbucks or something and get some coffee or something because I can't drink alcohol for a year. Uh, because we won't have to drown our sorrows in something. It took me... 30-ish minutes. Ah, yes, floor C. That's what I like to see. Anyway, 30 some odd minutes to get down to floor 100. And, uh, yeah, if I die, I'm gonna be a little upset to go back to the beginning, because it's just time I could have spent doing anything else and you know I really enjoy creating content for y'all but I also like to keep things moving because uh, I know how repetitive this can be and you know maybe if I was doing like a live stream or something it'd be a little different ah uh, we are in one of the mazes okay I, I think I have most of the tricks figured out I don't know if there's any tricks with the maze, other than the fact that they're a maze. They could even be called amazing. <laughs> now, dead ends scare me because things pop up behind you and then you die. And we're on floor C, maybe even D at this point. So I'm hoping we don't just run out of numbers and go straight into letters, but. You know, there's there's a finite number of letters at least, and an infinite number of numbers. I, don't know. I feel like this game makes me not blink. And when I was going through to get caught back up to floor 100, I did it without headphones on. There sitting next to me, and you still pay attention. And I still got scared. Like the things like popping up on the screen and stuff still got me, even though I didn't have headphones on. But the headphones do add that. That certain je ne sais quoi, if you will. We are getting close. One, one, one. <sighs> You're not that scary anymore. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. The developer told me that that slappy sound, where he's coming to clap my cheeks, is not slapping. It is me trying to strike a match to get this light back on. So, fun fact for y'all. 
Anyway, I do have some good news. Oh, I hear a whisper in my ear. Anyway, good news is I got that job I mentioned previously, so that is exciting. I won't get to start for a couple months, but I got it. I thought that said 111 again, and I was like, oh, are we stuck in an endless loop? Stop blowing out my match. Look, I don't want to be here any more than you want me to be here. I just really want to see the bottom of this. It's become a an obsession, if you will. So if you're familiar with obsessions. I got satisfied. 114, we are getting close. Take me to the limit. Oh. So even. I still, like, my brain just it must think in weird ways. Because I keep thinking of the particles of dust. I just want to be like Pac Man and just kind of gobble them up. 15 <laughs> I took my I take vitamins because of my surgery uh, that I, I mentioned a while back my bariatric sleeve my gastric sleeve surgery so I take these vitamins four times a day to make sure I get my nutritional dietary needs are met because I can eat so little kind of thing my god, it is like eating, it is like almost cotton mouthy right now. So I may drink some Gatorade here in a second, and they are not a sponsor, so I don't know if I need to tear the label off or just let you know. I mean, I'm drinking, I'm drinking blue, sugar-free blue, or light blue, I guess, but Gatorade. Why don't you compete with G Fuel for sponsoring gamers? <laughs> Maybe I don't need all that caffeine. Maybe I don't need to be all jittery while I play horror games. I mean, that can't may not be good for my heart. I, I think the you know Surgeon General. Are you in here? No. The Surgeon General may have something to say for putting myself in spooky situations while consuming copious amounts of caffeine. I mean, it may not be good for my heart. What was... That was a sniff. Like, not a game sniff. Well, my dogs aren't in here. That was me. But that other one was not me. I heard a sniff. There's a sniffer on the loose. 120... Just three more levels, dude. Well, 300, not three. I can count. You know, 420. Haha, <laughs> blaze it. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I would have to be doing something. I thought about this game the other day when I wasn't playing it because I took five days off from playing this just because I need like we were so close and then we died. What is that? What? What just happened? I'm sorry. Am I tickling this thing's tummy? What? Maze? Yes, maze. What just happened? I'm 120 some odd floors deep and I just experienced an earthquake. This makes me this this was what makes me think this thing is like alive or something, is because of the weird like movements. I thought it was gonna be a pit. I hate how long it takes those stairs to show up sometimes. We're gonna get another wiggly wobbly. One, two, three. Joke's on me. This game never ends. And joke on you. That would be a kick. 
just post, you know, part three to my channel, the developer reaches back and I'll be like, oh yeah, there's no end to this game. It just goes on and on and on. This is the game that never ends. It goes on and on, my friends. Some people started playing not knowing when it ends. Have you ever seen Lamb Chop? The song that never ends, it's the game that never ends, you know. I guess I do gotta be careful about even singing it in my not great voice. I want to get demonetized for singing a Lamb Chop song that I used to watch way back in the day. I hear chains and gears. But yeah, shout out to Lamb Chop. I used to watch that show in the early 90s as a wee tot. And my, uh, Pit Mix has a lamb chop toy. That's his favorite toy. He's had it forever. It's the one toy he won't tear up. He must know my deep, my deep appreciation for lamb chop. And then we have Fraggle Rock. Do the Fraggle Rock. Boom, ba -doom, ba we have. I already been scared noises. That sounded like somebody punched an old man. Go! All these YouTubers yell and scream, and I. Come on! All I can manage is. Oh! That's why you all watch me, right? Because I don't scream. I make old man noises. Well, you listen here, you young whippersnappers. You won't get me. I will. I will defeat you. SCP. It's gonna make me cough. <laughs> oh. Old man voice plus vitamin throat. Don't mix. That and the weather in Texas is trying to kill me again. If you kind of remember, it snowed or iced in the previous couple videos, if you watch these in any kind of order. Well, yesterday, it was like 78, 80 degrees. Oh, where, there, back up. And now uh, today, it's like 30. So it's just the weather's just trying to kill me. That was a bad set of event. Okay, my Great Dane's coming in. You can kind of see her down there. Hey, let me... I was like... Why is the door opening? Because my wife's not here right now. She's at her parents grooming their Jack Russell and washing their bulldog. And so I'm like, who's opening this door behind me? No, it's the doggos pushing their way in. Trying to do the scare. No, there wasn't a window. No. Stop. Stop. Sir. Sir. Ooh. <laughs> I would have cried. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna need you to chill. No, don't boot me. I'm doing important things. We're trying to survive at CP087-B. Yeah. 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 My, my people's like, ah. yeah. just booping me in the elbow. Anyway, I was saying, that was like the perfect storm of events right there. The uh, We had a window, we had the breathing noise, and the guy appeared at the end of the hall. Try not to be too... Yeah... I'd much rather deal with you, because I know what to do. And then we'll wait for the screen to flash. And now we're safe. 
See, we got that one. That one we got. We got that one all right. I don't know what the wobbly room symbolizes, or how I just, you know, trudged on through that one, so I think that's got to be the uh, correct choice there. We are 23 floors from the end. It is within sight. It is within reach. Don't do twists around turnabouts. This game stresses me out. <laughs> if that's what the developer was going for, just a game to induce stress, you hit the nail on the head. And the stress comes because it's not consistent. It's all over the place. And the ever-looming risk of having to do a complete restart, especially this far down where it's within reach, we can touch it. We should get like a power up that lets us uh, dig through floors or something. So we're gonna do a quick peek. Quick peek, yeah, we're we good. So these, you only have to be a couple steps deep into the hall. Then you gotta do a quick peek to make sure it's not the pit. If it's the pit, if you go too far, the little spider dude comes out and grabs your butt and you die. We don't want that. We don't want to be touched by a spider. We want to get out of here. Or So it's not really get out. I mean, we're trying to go all the way into the belly of the beast here kind of thing. So. Huh. Moving right along. Floor, no! Yes! That... This is the floor I can agree with. Floor, no. What floor are you on? No. Well, what, what floor did you get to? No. No, no floor. No, no, no floor here. We're done. Floor, boo. Please? Pool, nope. Floor, nope. We gotta combine the two floors. <laughs> High five, hook hand, man. Boop. Shoot R and Well this isn't even fair. How am I supposed to know what floor I'm on if it's giving me letters now? We have to finish. It's imperative that we finish. So Valentine's Day is right around the corner. Has anybody got go anything going on? Ah, yes, floor, exclamation point. Oh, no, 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 no. I thought he was gonna be the one behind me. So I kept going forward. Little did I know I almost killed myself because that guy jumps forward every time the light goes off and how mad would I have been? We are on the floor. No, again. Oh, no. There's nothing in there. Keep going. <laughs> what is going on? I need to know where I am. <laughs> no, again. No. Bad game. That's what you are. No to the game. No. Does escape tell me what floor I'm on? Oh, I don't want to ruin something. Ah. It's even less of something. Stop. Stop. Open. Open. Open, 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 open. Why is he wearing a spandex gimp suit? Floor P dollar sign. Maybe the developer had like a little bit of stroke. Again with this? Guys. Hey, you. Sir. Sir. Stop. Whoa. That. That. Don't you dare be floor no again. 
Stendel. What does Stendel mean? Just Stendels. I don't. Is that a name? What is Stendel? If anybody knows what Stendel is, let me know down in the comments below, please, because I have no idea. We'll be asking the developer, I guess. Mm. Electricity sign. We're on the. Ah. Does the whole room flip? Is that what's going on? We're on floor flash, by the way. That's what the lightning bolt was. Floor and look, I can do it too. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, how about that? That make you uncomfortable? Is it made me uncomfortable? We are. Who are? No, 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 no. I hit that S button so hard, I broke my finger. <laughs> it's not even fear anymore. From well, okay, I did get goosebumps from that, so I mean, it got a little bit of a reaction. But by God, it's it's so much more of that I plus. It's like the iPhone plus. Yeah, it's more of that potential of failure at this point. Yeah, good job. Do I do I hit escape to check? One fifty three. <clears throat> so we are seven floors from what I was told the, the bottom is. We are seven floors away. Maybe. I mean the the, the, the plaques don't really give me much to go off of anymore. L. No, we're not taking the L. We're going straight on through the L to the W. We're gonna win. Just a couple more scares, I'm guessing, and we will be through. Hi! Hate. H8. Hate. I hate the overwhelming sense of potential failure. The developer did tell me that once you beat the game, you have the option to edit the levels, or how many of the levels are, or where you start maybe, or something like that. But, PM, yes. The catch, the problem there is, is I'm trying to do all this fresh, give you that cream crisp, new feel of playthrough so I don't spoil anything for myself and thus give you unrealistic reactions. We are on four and three floors to go. If you were taking shots, which I told you not to because of too many, with three to go I think it's safe to start taking those shots. For every floor completed from here on out, take a shot if you're old enough. Only if you're old enough though. Don't condone underage drinking. We are on floor pl pl PLH. <coughs> Maybe that's like the credits. You're like, oh yeah, Rutland or Sutland or Nutland. I don't remember what the guy's name was. Rutland, Ruthland. I'll have to look at the footage to find out. Eee! With an exponent symbol. <laughs> All right, is this it? One more to go. All right, guys, let's see. Was it worth it? Was the time you've invested in me and we've in together invested in this game worth 160 floors of hell? If it goes down below 160, I'm gonna cry. I swear you told me 160. This is it. Ah, yes. That. Uh. 
Um. Oh, that's dark. Uh. No. I can't move. Oh my god, what are you? Uh. What was that? Subject has made it out alive. The expedition is over. Subject is showing signs of severe mental trauma and will be taken care of by an assigned psychiatrist. No more expeditions needed. We've heard enough. Oh. We did it. We did it, guys. We got through. Yes. Well, everyone, thank you for sticking around and checking out SCP-087-B, The Ultimate Revival. You know, shout out to Henry Saurbruch. Saurbrock? Sorry if I'm butchering your name, but this game is great. Thank you for the opportunity to play it. If you want to try it out, it's on Game Jolt. If there's something you want to see me play next, leave me a comment down below. Consider subscribing to the channel, it really helps me out. And anyway, I will see y'all in the next one.